I could believe that guy was in the trance. He's really, really cool looking. But then again, I mean, look at all this other stuff that we keep finding. Hey, what's going on, Posse? It's your boy, the Texan Picker. We're gonna do some yeah. trash picking really early this morning. I just got off my regular job working graveyards. And I decided to go take a little run real quick before I go home. And let's get the show on the road. some minor tweaking. I don't know. We're gonna give this guy a try. Looks like the pedals. Might have missed one of the feet. Too bad though. This broke off. I wonder if it's over here anywhere. You don't really need that though.
compression table. And this guy. Okay. I'm gonna have to figure out how to get this in the truck. Oh my goodness. Well, we're on a roll with all this fitness equipment. Speaking of fitness, how do you like the way I'm fitting this stuff in the back of my truck? Be opening up, be able to open up a gym with all this stuff I got now. Got that inverter, got that one table thing, whatever it was, to stretch out your back. The table, the chair. We haven't been out here not even not even 20 minutes. Well, I'm, I'm lying. It's been about 30 minutes now. Let me uh, adjust this light. Been out here about 30 minutes now. And uh, I say we're off to a great start. I mean, this truck's almost full. So, let's keep going. Well, good morning, sunshine. Looks like we finally got some good daylight out. So yeah, you weren't watching a nighttime video. You're actually watching my early morning video. It's just uh, we are in the middle. Of, well, I guess starting the fall season, and the days are getting shorter. So I wanted to kind of drive around for a little bit so you guys can see these houses in the daylight. Um, I don't get to do that very often. We got some real nice houses up in this area. Beautiful. What a nickel. And. Um, and one of the best picks I've ever had, and uh, I don't know if I can find the video, but was at this house right here, right there. They had actually um, moved out and they had all sorts of stuff out in the front yard. I picked up a bunch of good stuff that day. All right guys, usually I don't get stuff like this. Oh, and closer look. I'm not gonna get it anyways. But let's see what's inside this bag. Looks like there's some sheets or something in here. Some sheets. Yeah, there's some sheets in here. Curtains. This whole bag. Well, I was gonna get this guy. So I thought I would just film with my phone 
and then go from there. Except that I don't have, you know, I'm not gonna be able to, you know, film picking it up. So here's something that we found. Got an ammo can. Looks like some old lanterns. Um, we'll see anything in here. It's not correct. I'll take that too. Taking him for sure. Mm -hmm. Nothing in here. A couple of nice paintings or prints. All right, well, this is going to be a kind of interesting video because I'm going to be going back from the GoPro camera, which is the stuff that you guys saw during the day. And uh, as you guys saw already, I found some stuff during the night. A friend of mine, like I said, had told me about these bikes right here uh, on the street. So I went by to check it out and realized that nobody had gone through that neighborhood because um, there was a lot of stuff out there, as you saw through the rest of the video. I wasn't able to have my GoPro with me, so it's kind of me back and forth. But I want to ask you all a question because I felt like the, and you'll see that the, the iPhone recorded brighter than the GoPro does so I'm almost thinking that I should do everything on my iPhone from now on but the only thing bad about that is that I can't do it hands free I'd have to just record show you guys what there is and then maybe do the recap where I can do it in the daylight hands free while I'm digging through the stuff but I'm not going to be able to show the whole process of me looking through the stuff because there's just no way the phone's way too big for me to hold in one hand and dig through one hand it's, it's, it's too cumbersome but with that being said, we're going to go ahead and go through all the stuff that we found both day and that night. Um, hope you like the video. Uh, check it out. All right, we're going to start with these bikes. We got that Ozone Canyon Ridge. Probably about a $30, $40 bike. Got this Fuji. That's a good one there. It's probably this one here, brand new, is probably like around four or five hundred bucks. So we'll see what we can get out of it. I'll have to see what's wrong with it. it. Looks like the brakes, the back might need to be worked on. I know the seat is bad, but probably still pull about a hundred bucks off that one. I haven't looked up this one yet. It's a Haro Freightline. We'll see what that what, what that can pull in. A little scooter for the ground. Got this little Fusion scooter. I couldn't believe that guy was in the trash. He's really, really cool looking. But then again, I mean, look at all this other stuff that we keep finding. This little bike's gonna get some good money, I think. It's about Blades Fitness. One of those spinning bikes. Inversion table. This is one of them good ones. I like this one because I think this one here locks in your feet. And then the other night, well, last night, we found the body power, health, and fitness inversion table. Of course, that little bench or ottoman or whatever but uh, here's the uh the cushion that goes on top i'm sure all this stuff's gonna clean off pretty easy just hit it with the brush should clean off pretty, pretty quick i also picked up these two nice prints this one here um 
Let me see, he's got some stuff in the back. Let me see how big it is. It's my IKEA. And it's 30 by 46. Misty Road, 2004. That's a nice print. And this one here is framed. This one's a nice one too. Another big one. This one doesn't have any information. Oh yeah, here we go. 52 by 33. I don't know where this one's from. Made in the US. Really nice set of prints. Rubber made storage bin. Oh yeah, I forgot this was inside. Hold on. I moved this inside so I can make room. And I guess this is like an ice cream maker, I think. And the people said that it works. So, well, the sign says it works. Little Mountain. I don't know. Yeah, ice cream freezer. I don't know how old this thing is. That guy. Got a bunch of stuff. I'm going to go through this individually here in just a second. And all this stuff, I'll go through that individually here in just a second. Cuisine art. Bread maker. I bet you this guy works. I mean, it looks clean. So we'll just have to dust some of this stuff off. It's a lot of stuff, guys. All right, so there was some interesting stuff in those bags. Um, I found a bunch of Nancy Drew PC games. Didn't think much of them, and I looked them up. And the reason I took this bag is because I saw these. I thought they were, um, I thought they were what's called like uh, PlayStation games, it being all uh, PC. But these Nancy Drew games, got some more back there. Actually, sell pretty well. Got Sims. So, I was surprised about those. We should do good with these games. Um, kids, Dragon backpack. Actually, pretty neat. It's like 3D kind of hard to tell on the camera but it is three-dimensional the way it looks I did pick this up especially here gonna be Christmas soon this is the stowaway lights and stuff like that it has um, about three reels inside you put inside this bag and then put all your lights away let's see got this ammo can this is why I took that. I saw this ammo can plus those two, but there's some other stuff in there that's pretty neat. I'll show you here in a second. But this is a vintage one. Military. Is this military grade? It seems like it. Yeah. So these are pro popular and they sell real easily. This is an old little gas can. can't see any logos or anything like that but Coleman Lantern and I don't know what this is I'm not sure if it's for spray painting or if it's like for spraying like a bug spray or something like that Pretty solid though. Didn't see any marking. Oh, here we go. Mm, I can't read it. Can you see what that says? It's hard to read. I don't know. I'll, I'll put this in the light and get a closer look on it. Get an idea what that is. And some, you know, I got this little animal trap. You know, a lot of people like collecting these just to put them up as decor. So that's pretty neat. Some kind of weight or something. None of these are 
for a window. I don't know how these have these windows at. I had these weights on this one. Might be something like that. Where did it go on here? Ice, old ice picks things. And uh, this here, always look up for this. By Cutco. These things are worth some money. And just some random stuff in here. Belt, markers, little calculator. We got two. <laughs> got a bunch of these. Three. I wonder how, how much they were. I don't see a price on here, but I'm gonna look them up and I'm gonna post a price right here how much these things cost. that is uh, it's probably a collar that snapped onto a jacket and then everything else in here oh five <laughs> alright guys so I just looked those guys up and if you look on uh, just if you just google it on on, uh, on the Walmart page, they're they're still between twenty five to thirty five dollars. Um, also on, um, I think Bed Bath and Beyond's gone for like twenty nine ninety nine, up to thirty four ninety nine. Also, it just depends on the design. I think this design because it's got it's called the Esquire. It's got like a, a pattern on it. Those go for a little bit more. I think they're uh, more closer to the thirty five dollar range. So. Even if I sold them for twenty dollars each, and being that these are brand new, that's one hundred twenty dollars right there with those six. Well, one, two, three, four, five. Oh no, there's five of them, so it's a hundred bucks in the trash. So I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the video. I do have a lot of fun uh, doing this, as you can probably tell, and I hope you guys are having a lot of fun uh, tagging along with me. Drop a like, uh, leave a comment, let me know what your favorite find was, and. Um, so I'll wrap it up there, guys. Till next time, thank you so much for watching. Peace.